Welcome to our e-learning course on using CS Pro for data entry and management. I'm Cathy Garlick and I've been working at the Statistical Services Centre now for over 20 years. My main areas of expertise are data management and database applications. And my work involves both doing data management, such as creating data entry applications, error checking, etc. and advising and training others on good practice in data management. I've been using CS Pro now for at least four years, and I've used it to produce several data entry applications for large-scale surveys. Two to three years ago, I produced a set of training videos on using CS Pro, which are available on YouTube, and most of these have been seen 500 to 1,000 views. We'll be using these videos during this course. What about you? What's your experience of data management in general and CS Pro in particular? Share your information on the forums after this introductory presentation and get to know your fellow course participants. The course is made up of 10 sessions. These will include data structures and data types in which we consider the structure we need for a typical questionnaire. We'll also consider primary keys or unique identifiers and why these are important. We'll show how to set up the data dictionary, defining the variables and any labels for them. Then we'll move on to designing data entry screens. The idea will be to make the screen resemble the questionnaire as much as possible. Logic is the coding language used in CS Pro and we'll use it to add automatic skips and checks into our data entry system. We'll then look at options available for data entry. These include whether or not you want users to have to press enter after each value. Data validation includes double data entry comparisons and data verification. We'll then have a short session on frequency tables which are useful for getting a feel for the data and to check for values going outside the expected range. And finally we'll look at exporting data ready for analysis. In addition we'll look at how to deal with date values and explain the files that are created when you develop a data entry system and when you use CS Pro for data entry.